Wait. What the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've got to help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? Jeez, would you relax? I have it with me, okay? I'm coming to get it right now. I have a favor to ask you. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll meet in the junkyard in two hours. And bring the fucking money. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Have I ever watered that? Ah, uh, better than nothing. jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. Figures. Um, what? Nice to see my work is appreciated. Their layer of nuance. Thou art an idiot. <laughs> Hang in there, Skip. I wonder if that's the universe where Dad's alive and Rachel has three happy parents. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Can't 
fucking believe that David went through my stuff. Probably. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Gross. Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Here goes. 
What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. Huh. Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home is a smart decision. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> Really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. What? You didn't know? Detective Dickwad here went through all of my drawers and my bed. It's what you asked me to do. Make sure she's got no drugs or alcohol for I her own good. Oh, my goodness, Chloe. I'm sorry. I thought that... I'm sorry, Joyce. I didn't know this it's would upset Chloe you. It's Chloe who deserves the apology. Well, Chloe... I'm sorry that I violated your privacy. 
I did it with your best interest in mind. That's it? That's your apology? Well, now, I thought that- What about sorry for not trusting me in the first place? And convincing my mom to mistrust me too? That's not David's fault. What about sorry for calling me a loser? And always talking to me like I just came out of juvie? What about sorry for lecturing me all the time when you're fucking no one? You're not my dad. Who the hell gave you that right? What about sorry for moving in with my mom against my wishes? Chloe. Chloe, I know you don't like me. I know you think I don't understand you, but I do. I've been meaning to show you something. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck.
with me here. a bit more love. I can salvage this It's not like I need a manual, but I'm really glad it's here. Live in Seder Studios, Skip Matthews, lead singer of Pisshead, one of the Bay's hottest new bands. Say hi to the fans, Skip. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. Skip, I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwood Academy. Is that true? Uh, yeah. That's true. Can't be off by night. That the plan, Skip? Uh, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from Pisshead, and if you haven't heard these guys yet, what I want you to do is crank that stereo up as loud as it goes. If anyone complains, what do you tell them, Skip? That should help uh, keep shit distributed. Nailed it. Well, fuck. Go back from whence you came. I can definitely see some. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Much better. This thing is going to the fuck up. Sick. 
spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Please, I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> exactly. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Seriously, Frank? If you think I would pocket a thousand bucks of your money, you're even dumber than you look. I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? No. I was just asking for some help. It's not a big deal. No. Maybe I'll make it one. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy. 
But that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. I, sh she's a friend, an old family friend. <laughs> this chick doesn't have any family or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? We were aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah!
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But... Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing of course. Is that how it became violent? It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. If you let her meet Sarah in the first place, we wouldn't have had to try something more desperate. There are many things I wish I'd handled differently. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but... When he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then, we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this... I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph, how's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay, sure, definitely. Uh, 
I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake to him. Are these all firefighters? Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died. And not a single one described how I felt. One more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh, that's weird.